Good morning and welcome to ESC TV. I'm Udo Sektum from Stuttgart in Germany and this is Pepe Zamorano from Madrid in Spain. Um, Professor Zamorano is the chairman of the Committee on Practice Guidelines of the ESC and we're going to talk a little bit about your work in the committee, Pepe. Um, you produced four new guidelines this year. Could you tell us a little bit about those and um, outline what is new in these guidelines? Thank you, Udo. So you know because you have been working extensively in the guidelines committee and also you are the chair of the new stable coronary angina guidelines, how important and relevant the guidelines are for our members and the people attending the Congress. Well, during this year, four new guidelines have been presented. The pacing guidelines and the hypertension guidelines were already presented in the specialty meetings and really new during the ESC Congress uh, is the diabetic guidelines and also the stable coronary angina. Um, but what is really, really relevant is that even if we partially present the guideline in the specialty meetings, as I said, all the educational products are really, really developed during the year and presented and released here. So in fact, the ESC Congress brings really what is new and what is relevant and the key issues from each island, everything can be seen and can be obtained during the ESC Congress. I think, I think that uh, the four guidelines are really, really comprehensive for the interested reader, will be uh, very relevant in the decision making. And I think that uh, I recommend, I strongly recommend all of our members and, and friends just to get, go to the booth and take all the information there. That's a good message. Now, uh, the guideline process is a very complicated one. It takes years to produce a guideline. Uh, do you have any any ideas what will change with the guideline process over the upcoming one or two years? Well, we're going to do something really new. As you said, and you have suffered, the review process is, is quite uh, important and is, is really, really accurate. So we have uh, review chairs, then we have focus reviewers that they only, they really in detail, they review some part of the guideline, and we have the global reviewers. This uh, was uh, done by the idea from <coughs> Jerome Bax and the committee where you were in the guidelines committee at that time. And uh, I think this is, uh, quite nice organized and we will continue to do that. We have involved the, the scientific arm of the society, so we ask the working groups and the associations to be part of the review process. And we want to involve the national societies. It's difficult to involve all of them on each guideline because we will end up with thousands of comments. But what is really new and what we are going to do from next year is we will invite all the national societies to review the class one indications. So we will send the guideline to the national society. The president will select one expert of the national society. And this one, this one will review the class one indications. This will be uh, listed as an appendix at the end of the guideline. And for sure, this will help the endorsement. Very good idea. Well, I... Um wish the Guideline Committee and, and you lots of su success over the coming years and I thank you for the interview. Thank you, Udo. ESC Congress 365 is your free access to ESC Congress content all year long.